In this video, we are going to talk about deals. How to add a new deal, a little more about deal cards, and what we see once we create a deal. On the workflow, we see all of these deals, which can be dragged and dropped at different stages. A deal can have different information on it, depending on your personalization. One thing they all have is the ability to color a card. Let's create a new deal. We'll click on Add New. To create a deal, a minimum requirement is one contact. First name, family name, mobile and email. So let's create one. If you want to add another contact, you simply click the Add Another Contact button. You can change the deal title so you can put a date stamp if you like. You can put the type of deal and the loan amount as well. Deal owner is automatically yourself, but you can change the deal owner if you want. You can also add team members. Let's say someone who assisted you in processing the deal. Deal value can be the loan amount. Then we can change the expected settlement date. If you type in the summary note section, that will carry through all the way to apply online. And if the deal has been referred by someone, we can actually add the referral partner. We can also add security details. You can see as you start typing the address, the standard addresses will be showing here. We have to add the unit number too, and the security value. You can add zoning and property type. You don't have to, but whatever we enter here will carry through to apply online. If this is a refinance, you can also add the existing lender. So let's pick one. These are all the details you might know in the first discussion with the client, or you might not. This is not necessary, but it can be entered now. So, once we have created a new deal, this is what we see. This is the deal view. It is the main dashboard, and most of the activity occurs here during the life of this deal. You can exit this by going back to Deals. That deal is now created, and it's easy to see. You can mark it up with different colors so you can track it easily. Now let's have a closer look at the deal view itself. Clicking on the deal card, we can see the deal view for Amanda Rogers Refinance Owner Occupied Deal. Here at the top, we have a current deal status, so we can see the deal is still at the deal application stage. Right below is the deal title, and on the right hand side are the deal controls, so you can edit the deal. We can move the deal to a different workflow. We can mark it as settled, lost, paused. We can create a duplicate of this deal, or we can delete it. We can add another contact, like a person or a company, and add another participant to the deal. We can share this deal on the client portal with this client. We simply click on it and say, Share with Amanda Rogers. The button turns green, which means the deal is now shared with at least one client. We can add another referrer, we've already added one, and we can also put a label on the deal. We can create more of these labels and settings. And we can start a video conference if we want to have a remote meeting with our client, partners, users, or all of them. Then we have deal information. 
Once we choose a lender and a loan amount, we'll get some more fields in. We know the deal owner and we can copy the address of the deal and send an email to notes. We can also see other information in this little scroll menu. The add buttons are right below, so we can add a note, add a task, upload documents, create documents from templates, normal or compliant documents, and we can also request documents from the client. If you added any documents, you would have seen those documents listed in here, similarly with notes and tasks, and we can see all of them in a timeline. So let's just add a note. That note now appears in a list of notes. If you want to mark this note as important, you can simply click on it and that note will now be pinned just below the important deal information. It will be there as long as it is marked as important. If you want to navigate to Broker Tools, you simply click on the button. Broker Tools contains two sections. The top section is the Client Profile, the Fact Find. It can be completed by the client using the client portal or a broker or broker staff directly. To navigate the client profile, you click on the sidebars or use the navigation buttons at the bottom of each section. In the Broker Tools section, there are several options starting from security details that can be already entered as we did before when we added the deal, or they can be added from an existing security, or added as a new security from this section. It goes from funding worksheet all the way to lender gateways. Along the way we have compliance commentary and compliance documents. To produce compliance documents, simply click on this button. Not all the Compliance Documents fields need to be filled. Once Compliance Documents are produced, users can move into the Gateways and submit the loan. The Gateways won't allow anyone to click in before certain actions are completed. To navigate back into Deal View, simply go to Back to Deal View and select Back to Deals to go back to the Workflow Board. The card is in front of us and can be drag and dropped to a different stage, which activates workflow automation.